Hi again guys, and so we've got another updated top end tune for you today, and this time it's an updated version of one of my earliest and most popular tunes for the Supra. Now my existing tune for this car still works perfectly. It does 291 under its own power, it's got very strong draft potential, and it handles really well. That however used the mid-range turbo. This tune is basically just another way of achieving the same thing. I've updated the acceleration by fitting it with the high range turbo instead of the mid range, so it is stronger top end. The top speed is around the same, and the handling is also improved. So basically this tune is just for someone who wants to either just update the handling, or someone who prefers to use the high range turbo. I personally prefer the mid range because it has more torque and more power, but both are just as good overall. So, I'd recommend having racing soft tyres, for the brakes I've increased the rear balance to 6, but that's just personal preference, you don't have to do that. For the suspension you want the ride height on 100 front and rear, springs increased up to 1475 front and rear, dampers to 1, anti-roll on 3, camber on 2 with neutral toe. For the gearbox, the highest possible auto setting, then for the individual gears we've got 3.3, 2, 1.4, 1050, 825 and 650 with a final drive of 2.6. For the diff, the lowest initial torque, highest acceleration, and a braking sensitivity of 10. All the power upgrades, of course, and obviously the high RPM turbo on this one, and the full weight loss package. Traction control, I would always recommend turning off, and whereas with my original tune for this car, with the mid-range turbo, I would always recommend using a manual box to get the best out of it because if you leave it to the game to change gear for you with the mid-range turbo it takes way too long and it's just not in the correct gear range or the correct rev range I should say. With this tune you can use an auto box because the game is pretty good about changing gear. You can of course still do better if you use a manual but one of the main advantages of this tune is for people who don't like using manual, which to be honest does include me, I, I usually can't be bothered, this tune does that work for you. Because obviously being a high range turbo, you're always in the right rev range to change gear. As far as acceleration, it's not quite as quick as my original tune mid range, not surprisingly considering that had the mid range turbo. It is quicker for top end acceleration though. And it doesn't wheel spin as much off the line, which is good to note. I haven't compared it in a drag race, so I'm not sure which one's quicker. I should think, overall, this one's probably the quicker of the two. But I think the mid-range version may be shorter in a, a shorter distance drag. Now as far as cruising speed, as I said, it cruises at around a similar kind of speed to my existing tune, 290, 291. As far as draft potential, You've got more than enough, well over a thousand RPM. You can easily get this car up to, well, say 320, 330, even more with NOS and Slipstream, of course, just in its stride. It does it easily. But one of the major differences to this car is the handling. With the updated suspension, it makes a massive difference. Because it wasn't a bad handling car anyway, but the Supra, with my existing tune, was one of those cars which you had to kind of stay at the top of the corner because if you come down to the lower part of the corner while you're hitting the NOS you could spin out I have done it in the past with this car but with this tune you can get right down to the inside of the corner with full NOS and it will do it all day every day so top speed wise it's about the same pretty much brakes even slightly quicker top end acceleration I would say better handling, it's a, a lot more manoeuvrable on the curve as well, a lot easier to drive. And overall, it's basically just an alternative tune. So, if you decide to use this updated Supra tune, obviously I hope you find it helpful and it's definitely competitive. And if you're new to the channel and would like to see new tunes like this as soon as they're released, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.